For the past few weeks here on SUNUP, we've been talking about ways to keep both people and cattle comfortable during these cold winter months. And this week, we're talking about horses. Here's our OSU Extension equine specialist, Dr. Chris Heine. So Oklahomans, it's finally going to be winter here in January. So with a cold front coming through this weekend, it's probably time to do some checklists to make sure you and your horse are properly prepared. For those of you that are lucky enough to have indoor facilities, there probably isn't a whole lot you need to do other than making sure that uh, water lines keep running, dripping faucets, etc. Otherwise, horses that are housed inside should be pretty comfortable outside of the wind, rain, slash snow. For horses that are housed outside, however, probably the first priority I always have people think about when it comes to winter weather and horses is do they have shelter? So horses thermal neutral zone or the temperature at which they're pretty comfortable is pretty low uh, for horses that are acclimated to the weather. However, that is provided that they have a source of water. So that's probably number two, if not tied with my top priority. So horses always need to have access to fresh open water. Uh, so this is the time before the winter weather gets here to check. Do your bucket heaters work? Do your he tank heaters work? Um, do you need to add a tank or a bucket heater? If so, need to check, check that your wiring is adequate. Make sure that the cords that you're using have the sufficient capacity to carry that uh, voltage. So super, super important that horses always have open water. Um, so we do wanna make sure that the horse is consuming about 10 to 12 gallons of water. One of the big health risks that we see in winter is impassion, impaction colics. And typically that's again, because horses don't have the ability to have that open water if it's frozen. Also remember, horses prefer lukewarm water. So icy cold water can actually start to limit the amount a horse drinks. Otherwise, a lot of Oklahomans um, do like to blanket their horses for winter, and so this may be a time that they're pulling out blankets and putting them on. As always, blanket fit is going to be really key. So one way that you could tell if the blanket fits adequately for the horse, the horse should be allowed or able to move freely. So a too tight of a blanket may actually restrict the amount of motion through the horse's shoulder, and the hindquarter of the blanket should actually literally cover the hindquarters of the horse. Too large of a blanket, again, you may see that it slips side to side or the leg fasteners are, are too long and again, can kind of pose a risk if the horses can get a leg through there. Um, so that's kind of the basic thing. You wanna really make sure that they're in good repair and again, have been correctly fitted for your horse before you put them on. Also, if we're talking about mixed weather, right? So that difference between rain and snow, that blanket that goes on that horse has to be weatherproof or water resistant. Otherwise, simply adding a blanket that gets wet can really be pretty negative and, and pretty harmful for that horse. Additionally, some people like to use, you know, adding additional hay or roughage to the horse's diet to maintain internal warmth or body temperature. If we've upped the amount the horse drink or eats, we also have to make sure they have adequate water to keep everything flowing through the digestive tract. So another consideration in winter is actually really evaluating your horse's body condition score. Again, long hair can sometimes mask whether the horse has gained weight or lost weight. So I really encourage owners to routinely throughout the winter, get their hands on the horse and not just leave it to a visual inspection. Same thing, if we're gonna blanket the horse and choose to have a blanket long-term through the winter, that blanket needs to come off regularly to inspect the horse. Again, is there any rubbing or chafing that is occurring from the blanket? Um, or if the horse has actually lost or gained weight with the blanket on. So it's not enough to just blanket them and forget it. We still have to regularly inspect that horse's condition throughout the winter.